We're here on the beach in Ocean City, Maryland today to celebrate the 15th annual Maryland Dolphin Count. And we're at the 40th Street location at the beach in Ocean City. In addition to this location, we also have uh, two additional beach locations set up. We have one at Assateague State Park, and we also have one at 130th Street in Ocean City. And in addition to that, we had the U.S. Coast Guard helping us with some vessel support. The data that we collect today uh, will be added to all of our historic data that we have. Um, and it basically just gives us a snapshot view of what the uh, dolphin population looks like off of our coast during this three hour time frame. The coastal uh, bottlenose dolphin comes up uh, from the south and up uh, through Maryland uh, at this time of year in the summer and spring. In the winter, they'll head back south and our harbor porpoise will come down from the north. Uh, you know, December and February and maybe even early March, we'll see harbor porpoise in this region. This time of year in July, it's dolphins. People don't realize just how common uh, the Atlantic bottlenose dolphin is along our shores. And it's a real sign of the health of the water when we see a lot of animals uh, on these counts. It really lets us know that this water is healthy and there's a lot of food for these guys. We've been doing these annual uh, dolphin counts now for 15 years and it's turned into a very productive, very powerful annual tradition. One of the great things about the, the annual dolphin count is that we really do bring the community into it. People up and down the beach all day are asking us what's going on and they're learning about the ocean here. And the act of being engaged and helping us brings awareness. Awareness that these incredible creatures are off our shore and awareness of what it means to help protect those animals. We want you to help be our partner in saving the planet. The event is uh, free and it's open to the public um, and you can check our calendar of events online at aqua.org. We have a variety of activities like this throughout the year, the purpose of which is really to both learn about our natural environment here but also to engage people more in knowing. With knowing comes caring. <laughs>